Hello everybody. It is uh, June 2nd, 2021. So I don't even know where to begin with all of this stuff, but you know, I've been on overload uh, on top of the energies and messages coming in and just maneuvering my way through the all of it on top of moving and having to be single and packing and making trips back and forth and every hiccup that could occur has kind of been occurring you know they show up with the truck too small one less man have to do it two times in a row uh just all the little things and then this past two weeks it's i feel like everything's been fine it's been a little bit of a groundhog day it's like i'm done I'm over. Spirit says, don't linger. Get all the last little bit out and just be done with it. Then, uh, you know, the landlord goes and gets nasty. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to cut off your utilities, you know? And I'm like, I was supposed to be out today. Why would you threaten me with that? And then why would you actually go through with it? Like, I get an email that says he's cutting off his own utilities in his own house, which I don't understand, but then I don't owe anything. So it makes no sense, but it is a threat to myself, which is, you know, that survival, that innate survival thing. Do I have enough to, to get through? So it's triggering a lot of things on top of you know, exhaustion, muscle aches from having to do the move. But anyway, um, I'm gonna just have to go with that flow. I don't have much of a choice. And um, so the initial uh, is just gonna just be, and right now the lights are still on. So, you know, the toilet's still flush. So I'm <laughs> just gonna go with it. But anyway, on top of all that, there has been um, a lot of electromagnetic energies happening. So of course, when you get threatened to have your utilities in your house, your electricity, that's, that's all part of it. That's all part of poke, poke, trigger, trigger, get you to release things. And since I'm already wise enough to understand that, um, but I'm still human. So there's a still a little part of you like, ah, and then you're like, oh, hold on, hold on, calm down, ah, then hold on, hold on, calm down. So really it's just about keeping tabs on yourself and your nervous system. So the general electric magnetic fields are going el nutso. Example, I am leaving to go uh, to meet some spiritual group. Monday. And as soon as I get on the highway, it's at a dead stop. And there's fire trucks everywhere. When we finally get to go, there was no accident. So it looked like maybe a line was down and they were blocking it. It's the only thing I could think of. So that occurred. So it put me a little bit behind. So I'm kind of pushing that gas pedal, right? And I am thinking to myself, that I'm moving back closer into the DC area, like on the border. And I'm like, okay, God, you didn't have me move to take me out because it's a hot spot, right? Just when I said that, all the lights on my dashboard were blah, 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 and the car starts to shimmy. I'm 75 in the far left lane. I'm an experienced driver. I know to pull over immediately and get off as far as I can. And I, up ahead, I see an overpass. So I thought, let me get under there because it'll be shady. Okay. So I did. And I turned my car off, grabbed my manual, started to kind of read it. Couldn't find what I was looking for because I could feel the anxiety coming up. And then of course the cars are flying by. I'm under 
an, un, an overpass, which is making everything shake. So I decided to Google what could be going on and I see what it is and it's serious. It's, it's the electrical something, the EPC, it overrides everything and you're supposed to seek car attention immediately. So I'm like, oh, I'm already running behind. All these girls are waiting for me in DC at a harbor. And I'm like, great. So as I'm Googling it, I remember that the day before I was going for an oil change and for some reason my mechanic didn't show up at this location that he asked me to be, which was very odd for him. So I figured two things, either he wasn't getting the messages or something happened, but we just weren't meant to communicate. So 45 minutes of waiting, I went home. So I still had the oil and the filter in my car. So I looked in the Google to see if this EPC, this electrical thingy, might have anything to do with being low on oil. And it said it could be a possibility. So I pulled up further and went off in the far left lane into the grass. And then I'm popping my hood and I'm trying to get my keys out because I want my keys with me in case something happens in my car locks, but I can't get my key out. And I'm like, what the hell's going on? Oh, maybe it's because I popped the trunk. I'm like, all right, get grounded here. So I get out of the car, pop the trunk, put some oil in it. And I'm saying, please don't spill because it was a big five gallon container. So I dumped at least a third in there, put the lid on, closed it. Got back in my vehicle, still couldn't get the key out of my ignition because I didn't put my car in park. It was still in drive. Yes. So I'm like, ground thyself, Sandy, ground thyself. So then I thought, all right, I'm going to take off here on this shoulder. If it doesn't shimmy, I'll get up to speed and I'll get over, which I did and everything was fine. The blinking on went off, but one warning light was on. So I met a girl. We got in the car and then we drove to the location to meet the other girls. When I came back, I looked at it and it was a warning light for exactly what I had been looking up. Um, the electrical control panel or something like that. So then I have to go to my new location and stay over because I have to help her in the morning and then get back to my house, which is about an hour away and finish packing. So, on my drive, I called the dealership and asked the guy what was going on. He's like, yeah, you know, it could be a spark plug, you know, uh, it could be this. Just, uh, you know, bring it in tonight, drop it off. I'm like, okay. So just as I pass where I had stopped southbound, and I saw where I had stopped, just no sooner did I get past there, it occurred again all these lights, everything happening, the car starts to shimmy. Once again, over in the far left lane, but this time I'm where like uh, the medium little street is where the police can go, so I can pull over a little further. Call the dealership, I'm like, WTH? He's like, well, you know, if it is a spark plug, just turn it on, turn it off and reset it, and then try not to accelerate because it'll exacerbate the problem. And I'm like, oh sure, no problem, I'm on Interstate 95. 80 miles an hour cars go, sure, no problem. I, I won't force that acceleration. So of course, again, being an experienced driver, when I get back on, I just got over into the you know, second lane from the right and just maintained with everybody else, but not gunning it with my gas pedal to pass anybody. So I get home and then I dropped my car off and of course he calls and says, oh, it's not the spark plugs, it's the harness that controls the electrical thingy, it's under warranty. Now how bizarre is that, right? Totally and completely bizarre. Then last night I have a dream that I'm at this public picnic area and there are all these conjoined picnic tables in a very long precise line and it's all filled and everyone's eating, right? And I look up in the sky and there's this giant cloud. And in the cloud, beings, like people beings, start coming out of the cloud and coming down towards the picnic tables. And it's almost conveyor belt-like. And so, being in the know that I am and the healer that I am, 
I just said, don't panic everybody, it's not what you think. And so I began to focus on the people coming out. And again, it was almost like they were on like that conveyor belt, like they were timed, perfectly apart. And then one stood in front of me behind someone else and I could see that their face was almost crystally pure white, waxy, like a wax figure, very human shaped and human dressed. And I'm like, mm, something's not right here. So I focused my energy to dissipate this cloud. And when I did, I saw a commercial airline, a blue commercial airline with like white trim. And so I'm like, okay, Tricksterville, right? And then last night I'm sitting outside doing stargazing and the same thing kind of occurred to me last week was this flashing, like almost like a drone going around the tree right in my backyard but it wouldn't come right out in front where I could actually see it as many times as I telepathically, telepathically asked to, telepathically asked, using my telepathy is what I was trying to say, to come where I could see you. And of course they didn't. And last night they did. It'll be this, I could see the, the ball of energy come right next to the tree and then flash. And I'm like, oh, so, camera's at my feet so I reached over to the chair to kind of get it and I'm like okay let me film this you guys please let me film this so I just turned the video on and like this and faced it up right of course I didn't do diddly squat for the longest time and then all of a sudden it did it and you have a flash a couple flashes and some different things that showed up towards the very end of the video so I don't know how to edit that when I do I'll post it out but what I'm saying to everybody is there's a lot of electromagnetic stuff happening everywhere. But what I also wanted to say, as I was talking about this this morning on another a social media, I visually went back to where I was pulled off the road the first time southbound and where I pulled off now northbound, the same spots, right? Mileage wise, I'm right there at Air Andrews Air Force Base. I'm right there. As a crow flies, I'm like almost on top of it. So found that interesting, right? A lot of stuff going on there. So as we're looking through all these things that are happening, we have to understand planets are in retrograde. Mercury is my ruling planet, but it, I never let that interfere with what I do in my life. I just understand that it is and I may slow my roll or I just accept electronical disruptions. I don't run around and back up everything. I'm just like, all right. And also the day where I, I had to get pulled over southbound, my phone was on my passenger seat and I was listening to a YouTube and it was flipping channels. It was flipping out into other channels the entire time. So all these little trickster things are happening. So they can kind of knock your nervous system into overdrive, okay? But it's up to you. You have the power to control that. And one of the fastest ways to reset that nervous system is deeply inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth and doing this repeatedly four, five, six, seven times until you can get your rhythm where you're inhaling to the count of four into the lungs, pausing, and then exhaling out the mouth to the count of four. Then you're in a position of not being in hyper mode where you can tune in to what is happening and then feel it. Many of us are feeling if we stop for just a minute or two, literally stand still or sit, we can feel our bodies vibrating, okay? There's rumbling and stuff going on in Mother Earth that's coming up, it's coming up. It's everything we've put in in every lifetime that we don't want is coming up 
out of Mother Earth for some final releasing. So we are filter conduits. We are feeling it. So you can't change the things that are about to happen, but what you can do is bring in the energies, filter through for the highest good of your all your energy bodies. Send that energy down with loving intention to all the grids and the ley lines. I've done videos on this. And then let that energy come back up and filter up through your physical body and then out to Father Sky. And you can do this several times and that can help dissipate, calm, a little bit of that inner storm that's happening inside our physical bodies that's happening to electronics and magnetics around us okay um and what's tangible phones lights all those things as well as what's happening in the airways okay no fear no fear reset with that breath always nice when you place your hands on your heart and you just close your eyes and then as you feel the vibration I'll just feel it and then I just I might sway with it I might just sway with it and do my neck in circles and just release and unwind my spine and my body with those energies to get into that rhythm and then bring that energy down through the body into mother earth to the grids ley lines and then back up again so you're sort of being that, <clears throat> that conduit calm to help transfer it so it doesn't get stuck anywhere inside of you, all right? Which can create a lot of <clears throat> unnecessary. <clears throat> all right, well, that's enough for me at the moment, but I'm sure more will come through. So much love and light to each and every one of you. Please like, subscribe, share, and uh if you need any healing coaching sessions, just reach out. My email will be in the address.